morning, YouTube. This is Deidre Goddess coming at you guys with another low carb to no carb update. We are on the highways and byways of Houston. I got me and my little munchkin grandson back there. We are going to go purchase me some new clippers. Um, the clippers that I have, um, it seems like they're not charging properly. So I'm going to go buy me some new clippers. So the first update, I'm still low carb, no carb, strong. Yesterday, uh, my sister has talked me into doing a little bit of more of a paleo type food eating style, which is still low carb, high fat, but um, add a little bit of fruit back into my diet. So yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw my pictures on Facebook or on Instagram, with my meal, I had a smoothie. It had one cup of mixed berries. So the only fruit that I will be doing is berries, but I had skipped, not been eating any berries at all. So I had one cup of berries, a half an avocado, a huge handful of spinach, some coconut milk, and some stevia. And I will say it was delicious. I'm going to have one of those a meal uh, with my dinner. I actually, it was more than what I thought it was going to be, so I actually split it with my daughter. So, but it was really good. It, it was really good to have some fresh, light, and sweet on my tongue as opposed to the heavier, like, fat bomb type of sweet stuff. It was good. And maybe once a week or so, I will incorporate a sweet potato back into my diet. Um, so, I did weigh myself. I have lost eight pounds from the very last time I scaled weight myself, which was a couple months ago. Um, I very well could have lost more than I thought because I haven't weighed myself in quite so long. I may have gained some weight, lost some weight, but I am noticing a huge difference in my clothes. Um, when I look at myself with my clothes on, I can physically clearly see that I've lost some weight. Um, skirts that I haven't been able to wear in quite some time I've been able to wear and uh, my dresses are sliding over my bomb bomb a little bit better and it was so cute you see the big truck baby you see it he gets real excited when he sees trucks for some reason but he doesn't say truck he says Lily Rye whatever that means I don't know I'll have to google it um my nephew told me that he could see that I was losing weight. That was really cute. Um, so, um, and I have decided to cut back on the cheese as well. Um, I have prop, I have plantar fasciitis in my feet. And I had gotten it when I was doing like all meat. It seemed like I didn't have any problems with my feet at all. As soon as I started incorporating cheese back into my diet, I noticed that my feet started hurting again. And also, I had a sore neck for weeks that I could not get rid of. I mean, it hurt so bad. At one point, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. At first, we thought it was because I play my game so much and my head stays down. But I realized that even when I'm not playing my game, my neck was still hurting. So, um... I think it was my sister and my brother-in-law who mentioned that maybe the cheese is causing inflammation. And that was part of the reason why I started doing my um, turmeric and black seed oil and all that, the apple cider vinegar, was to help with the inflammation because it was really, really bad. Um, but as soon as I stopped eating cheese, it went away. My feet don't hurt anymore. Um, my neck isn't hurting anymore. So, against my will, I gave away my cheese to my sister. And it's funny because just yesterday I went into the bottom of the refrigerator and realized I had three packs of cheese slices of different types of cheese. But my mom said that she will take it and use it for something. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to my mom. Um, but that's so sad. What kind of devil in the world hates on cheese? That's like chicken. 
to a black person? Why would you take away chicken away from a black person? That's crazy. But needless to say, <laughs> no more cheese. I did have one cheese meal um, that shrimp Alfredo that I had on my Instagram and my Facebook page did have Parmesan cheese in it, but no like yellow cheese. Um, I figure if I do it, I think what was causing the severe pain was because I was doing the cheese in excess. If you guys see my um, pictures, you see I was eating cheese tacos, cheese shell enchiladas, cheese shell roll tacos. I even made a cheese shell to put my uh, sausage in, so kind of like a hot dog. I think that was just too much cheese. I think I was cheese overloading and just causing too much inflammation. So I think if I just do it in moderation, every once in a while, it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to stop having cheese and everything, cheese and everything. Um, and hopefully that will help with my uh, weight loss as well. Um, I've been doing some intermittent fasting. Of course, I got my keto coffee. But it is fabulous. Um, so I drink my coffee for breakfast in the morning. Um, I have it with the heavy whipping cream, MCT oil, um, caramel flavored um, flavoring, which I'm sure is not really the best for me, but I'm going to have something. I've been putting some MSM powder and collagen peptides in my coffee, putting it in the blender. Breakfast is served. As far as my meals go, I've been having one solid meal a day, which has consisted of all the things that you guys have seen on my Instagram and my Facebook page. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Deidre Goddess, and you can find me on Facebook at Deidre Raylene, or you can go to my um, Facebook group, Low Carb to No Carb, and that's L O. Carb, no carb. I'll put a link in the bottom for you guys. I'm sure my name is a little difficult to spell. Uh, aside from that, everything has been going fabulous. My grandson has been with me for the past uh, month and a half or so. I just love his little face. I love his life. I love having him around. He makes me so happy. And I'm going to be so sad because he has to leave in about... Uh, three and a half weeks or so and it's so funny because I have learned that my daughter his mother is pregnant again and so I'm going to have another grandbaby and it's so weird because I keep thinking how am I going to share my love I just love him so much how am I going to share my love with another child but I figured it'll probably come pretty easily so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be going back to San Diego um, the weekend of August 4th to take him. And my daughter is going to be having her baby reveal party, her gender reveal party. And also her and her boyfriend are getting married. So while I'm there, they're going to have a little wedding reception because I won't be able to be there for the wedding. So that should be lots of fun. Um, I'm like 99% sure I will not be eating keto. Well, maybe I can. My sister has told me ways to eat keto friendly um, and said, I did not oh no, this place opened at 7.30. Alright, so if you guys are I've, I've reached the Barber Supplies. If you guys are in Houston, Finley Barber Supply off of Kirby is the bomb. He, anytime you buy something, he will zero gap them for you. If you buy something there and bring your equipment, he'll put it on for you. They're really, really great. They're family-owned business. Um, I hope that's fine. It's not saying that they're not here. So let me show you guys my little honey pumpkin. Hi. Say hi, Jordan. Say hi. 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 That's my baby right there. That's the joy of my life. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here and go handle my business. This lighting, it sucks.
Um, so again, oh, let's see if we get it together. Um, like, comment, subscribe, Hello. share the video. Um, Jordan is saying hi or bye. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'll put links in the description for my other pages. And until then, you guys be blessed and never give up. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah. Peace out.